Okay, trainers, so Adventure Week was officially announced. Trainers, are you ready for our next adventure? On May 24th, new field research will be available, along with the chance to challenge Aerodactyl in raid battles. As added bonus, Rock-type Pokemon will appear more frequently in the wild. Uh, there's new raids out there, so I need to get out and go. Um, as far as shinies, I don't, I, I don't know about that. I'm not going to say nothing unless somebody reports it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this. Leave no stone unturned during this adventurous event. Okay. Trainers, adventurous new research is on tap during an exciting in-game celebration. All right, so we have Adventure Week coming, guys. Starting on May 24th at 1 p.m. PDT, unique field research will be available with some exciting rewards. Dang, we'll have to see what those are. Including a raid battle, appearance by Pokemon such as Aerodactyl. All right, such as, so there's gonna be more raid battles. So expect maybe Kabutops, maybe a Laleep, or not a Laleep, I'm sorry, Cradley, raid battle, level three, Oh my goodness, please, please be that. I would love to see that. It's defensive, so it's actually going to be hard like a, a um, clay doll. You remember the clay doll? That, that thing was here for a minute, just a little bit, and it was a toughie. And it was fun, too, because it was actually a challenge. All right, so throughout the celebration, rock-type Pokemon such as Geodude, the Leap, Nosepass will appear more frequently in the wild. All right, sounds good. There are also incentives to trek around. Your buddy Pokemon will earn candy four times faster throughout this event. That's pretty good. Plus, you'll receive extra XP for spinning a photon disc in a Pokestop or gym. Up to ten times the usual amount if this is your first time encountering a unique Pokestop. Now, that's not items. That is XP. So, alrighty. So, there you have it. It ends June 5th. Okay. So it seems like everything's ending around then. It's for they're gonna probably like gear up for the next exciting new thing that's gonna be happening in Pokemon Go. So there you have it, folks. Um, a Laleep is pretty rare. Kabutops, Kabuto, those are pretty rare. Omnite, Omnistar, uh, I have a lot. Maybe it's just where I live. They spawn a lot. <laughs> the Aerodactyl, he's like skimming the water. Uh, so what do you think? Are we gonna get a shiny? No shinies. Nothing has been reported yet because, well, the event hasn't officially started anywhere, so we can expect nobody to report it yet. But if there was going to be a shiny there in this event, which one would you take a guess at? I'm going to go with, I mean, for that fighting one, what did they have? What, two, right? Two shinies? Makahita and, um, and uh, Meditite? I don't know, I was blanking that out. So maybe they'll drop two this time. I don't want to get everybody too hyped or nothing. This is, I'm not saying this is happening. I'm just saying... If they did drop them, I'm going to go with Aerodactyl, and I would love a Lilith, a Cradley Shiny. Oh my goodness, that would be fantastic. Um, but since Kabuto is such a crazy color and just wildly opposite from what it is, I would like to see that. Kabuto and Kabutops, neon green color, that would be pretty fun to have. So, I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. I'm excited to do some new raid battles. Um... My raid passes are running very low. I, I just simply could just buy more. But I just, I hope they have like a, a box, a sale box. They didn't say nothing about that. So I'm not going to expect it. But uh, I'm just, I, I stocked up when they had that fantastic sale, right? On those raid passes. And I just been going to these ho-ohs like, oh my gosh, guys. I'm just trying to find my shiny ho-oh already. Yesterday I did about, I'd say like six or so, maybe. Um, and the day before that I did a oh my goodness and the day before that I did a whole lot I'm just slowing down because it's literally ruining my whole rhythm and upload timing And I'm not finding a shiny and at this point everybody's found one and uploaded their video It would be fantastic if I do But it's just not going to get the attention that I need it to for all the work that I'm doing to get it If I get it, I get it. If I don't then that sucks, but some people, my friend got three, like we were riding in the same car and he got three, dude, like <laughs> congratulations to you, man. If you're watching, you know, it's just like, dang, come on. Can I get one, please? Can I get one over here, please? <laughs> Anyways, traders, um, 
let's go ahead and check out some more information I have for you here. So there's been a little bit of confusion over this whole quick move on Tyranitar on some people's ends. Most people completely understand that that's what we're going to get for Community Day on Tyranitar because it's been in the data for some time now as a quick move. And it's just so obvious that we're going to be getting this now. Um, and I have proof to show you guys. So first we're going to go into the... Let's go into news here. And let's take a look at what they have to say. So uh, put those TMs away. We've already seen this, right? So we're going to go over a couple different things that they said here. So first... Um, well, not, this is not first. I'm going to show you the first one. Let's go ahead and hop over to Twitter. And I'm going to show you a few things really quick, okay? All right, so somebody tweeted this to me under this um, video that I made here talking about that. And it says, put those charge TMs away, trainers. Now, this is the first one. Uh, since then, they've reworded it several times. Now, let's go and take a look at their newest one, which is literally the telltale sign that Tyranitar is going to get a quick move for this community day. So... Are you ready? Let's go check this out. Okay, so we are actually over here on the Pokemon info site. Community day. Lavatar. This is something we've seen. Now, let's go down here. It says, note, fast TMs and charge TMs will not grant exclusive moves during community day. Wow. Now, there's no need to say fast TMs, right? Because we've seen only charge TMs, well, technically charge moves for every community day. Up until this point correct so there's no actual need to say fast unless we had some sort of event where tyranitar learns a fast move called smackdown so there you have it trainers stead giveaway right there that that's we're gonna get you know smackdown and tyranitar so if anybody was still questioning well they still haven't confirmed it well absolutely you know they really haven't confirmed anything and there we are all jumping the gun but <laughs> It's obvious. We all know. This is why we're pushing all the information about this and the stats of Tyranitar being like the new best rock attacker in the game and just saying, oh, you prepare for this way, prepare community day for this, blah, 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 blah. All right. So there you have it, trainers. It's basically right in front of you. We're going to get a quick move for Tyranitar on community day. Now, we need to talk about something else. The, uh, the Alolan form Pokemon. Let's go ahead and look at that really quick. Because every... Not every... I can't lump people into one category. A lot of people are very confused as to what, what is going on. Why are they dropping these in, you know, Pokemon Go already? This is Gen 7. Into the, in, their, in their mind, they're thinking this is Gen 7. Let me clear the air up here. Alolan Pokemon were released during Gen 7. Absolutely. But they weren't actually like new number pokemon they are still gen 1 these pokemon right here these are alternate forms so you, for for example you take Exeggutor, the alolan form uh dragon and grass you well, you're, you're thinking to yourself a new player's thinking wow i wonder what number on the pokedex that's going to be it's the same one as Exeggutor. it's like a shiny variant except it's not shiny it's like a think of it as a sh <laughs> Well, I can't compare it to a shiny because shinies are rare, and I don't know how they're going to introduce these. But it's just another variant of the Executor. And the Muck, another variant. Raichu, another variant. And so on and so on and so on for all of these other Pokemon. So this is not exactly Gen 7. It <sighs> was released during Gen 7. So you got to think about another thing too as well. This is like, I think has something to do with a little bit with the Switch and Pokemon Go possibly being integrated. Not when these are released, but sometime in the future with the new Pokemon game, because they're not going to be making those on the DS anymore. It's going to be on the Switch. Now, I don't want to get too deep into that, like, thing where it's, you know, you see where this is going, but I, that's basically my thoughts, okay? So if you're confused, like, why Niantic, why are you releasing Gen 7? We still need Gen 4! Come on, come on, be happy that we're getting these. This is not Gen 7 per se, this new variants of Gen 1, and the only relevant ones are going to be Exeggutor, Muck, and maybe the Alolan Ninetales, maybe Raichu, maybe Marowak. Other than that, they're all just going to be for fun, because, I mean, 
Doug Trio is just bad in the game at the current moment. I mean, you gotta literally power it up to max before you can even do really anything, because it's just gonna get defeated in like, what, four hits? So, anyways, um, there you have it. I hope you were just like, that, that, that wasn't over your head or anything, but, um, <laughs> there's actually some people out there who think Niantic, were, who are the ones who are creating the shiny sprites, who are making these new Pokemon designs. No, no, guys, they are making the, the, sh the, the sprites within the game, but the designs initially were always made by Nintendo. And the shiny sprites were are not being decided by Niantic. The shiny Tyranitar has been in the game before 2001. All right, let that sink in. That has been for that is a long time. Okay, so they're not making the shots on the shinies. They're not making the shots on all oh, the new generations. Niantic didn't create Pokemon. They didn't. They they're just using Pokemon in their game. All right. Woo! All right, guys. So <laughs> there you have it. Um, just a little bit of information for you because uh, there's a lot of people who are confused about that. I I was reading around and apparently there's a lot of upset people. We're going to get some cool new Alolan Pokemon. And why not? Why wouldn't you be excited for that? Um, Gen 4 will come. Give them time. You Do you understand Gen 4 is going to be one of the best generations to hit Pokemon Go? And of course, they're not going to drop it yet. They have so much stuff going on. They have um, Go Fest. They're going to drop a new mythical, possibly a, some new legendaries, maybe even a new feature or two. We don't know. We just have to buckle up, sit back, and just enjoy the ride because what Niantic has planned for us, will, will hopefully it's something good. But Gen 4 is inevitable. You can't uh, relax and just wait because when it does drop, you're going to be overwhelmed by excitement. Now, it's going to probably drop in pieces, obviously, like the rest of them. But for the most part, you can expect some really awesome Pokemon. <laughs>